When a man she knew threw acid on Saira Liakat's face five years ago, Saira thought no one would ever want to look at her again. She believed her life was going to be reduced to the walls of her cramped brick house. But today she has a packed schedule. Every morning she picks up her fake Gucci bag, bids farewell to her mother and heads out the door. A short trip later, she arrives here at one of Lahore's most posh beauty salons where she excels in doing both bridal and party makeups. Today, she has become a poster child by an NGO which helps victims of acid abuse. I am very happy and very happy that she has made us this way that I will be able to make all my parents and 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 my parents. Her colleagues say she is the life of the salon. When we started working with her, we felt that she was not so comfortable with us. So, we all thought that why do we do this with such a friendship? It will be very easy and relaxed. And we never feel that it has been burned out. Saira is one of the many hundreds of Pakistani women who have been burned by acid. Exact numbers of victims aren't available, but between April and June this year, hospitals in the Punjab province saw almost 220 cases of women suffering acid burns. Such chemicals are easily available on this street, located in one of Lahore's busiest markets. Anyone can pay for a bottle filled with hydrochloric or sulfuric acid. No licenses or identification checks are required. In Saira's case, the perpetrator was none other than her fiancé, a distant relative her father had chosen for her. My daughter was going to Thailand, so I came to Thailand for two years. But she said that she was going to be a little bit later. Arfan said that she was going to be a little bit later. She said that she was going to be a little bit later. She said that she was going to be a little bit later. She said that she was going to be a little bit later. اس کی تعلیم مکمل ہونے کے بعد ہی کروں گا لیکن وہ بزید رہا نہ مانا اگلے دن دوپہر بارہ ساڑھے بارہ بجے کے وقت وہ لڑکا آیا اور اس ٹائم گھر پر کوئی موجود نہیں رہا صرف میرے چھوٹے بہن بھائی اور ڈانا ابو موجود تھے آیا اور مجھے کہتا ہے کہ مجھے پانی پلاو میں پانی لینے کچن میں گئی ہوں اور مجھے نہیں بہت چلا کہ کس ٹائم وہ میرے پیچھے پیچھے کچن میں آیا ہے اور آ کے مجھے کہتا ہے کہ میرے ساتھ چلو میں نے کہا جب تک میرے والدین مجھے اجازت نہیں دیں گے میں تمہارے ساتھ نہیں جاؤں گی جس وقت یہ بکوا ہوا تو مجھے اس کمرے میں سی وہ یہاں سے نکلا ہے میری بیٹی سائرہ بیٹھی ہوئی چیزیں بنا رہی تھی تو وہ اس نے کہا کہ مجھے پانی پلاو اور اس کے ہاتھ میں ایک پلاسٹک کی سفیرنگ کی بہت تضاب کی تھی وہ سٹیر اس نے میری بیٹی کے چیرے کے اوپر پشت کیا یہاں سے جیسے میری بیٹی کی آنکھیں چیرے کے اوپر پازو اور تمام چیز اس کے اوپر گرا ہو جس سے یہ تمام کے تمام چیزیں جو نا جل کے نکارا ہوئی With the strong acid stinging her face and eyes Saira rushed into the street screaming None of her neighbors came to her aid In the following days, Saira was rolled in and out of the operation theatre. When she was finally discharged from the hospital, she couldn't bear to look in a mirror. I also know that my face can't be perfect, but it can be better from this. Either the law has given it to the law, or the law has given it to the law. The law has given it to the law, like my daughter's face. My daughter has given it to the law. The law has given it to the law. The law has given it to the law. In Pakistan, women are reluctant to bring acid throwers to justice because of fear of further retaliation, but not Saira. Two years ago, she filed a court case against the man she had promised to marry. She is the first woman in Pakistan to do so. میری یہ پوری کوشش ہے کہ میں اس انسان کو سزا دلواؤں جس نے میرے ساتھ اتنا جس نے میرے ساتھ یہ سب کچھ کیا ہے سائرہ is still waiting for a court date perhaps an indication of the lack of attention acid victims receive but if found guilty her ex-fiancé could spend up to five years in prison but regardless of what happens in court Saira's life changed drastically when she met beautician Misarath Miswa. Miswa runs an NGO called Smile Again, which is dedicated to helping victims of acid burns. Miswa says Liaquat's story is representative of many of the women who walk through her door. If you look at their average, 14 to 26, 
ये वो टाइम होता है जब बच्चियाँ गुड़ियाँ खेल रही होती हैं शादियों की तैयारियाँ कर रही होती हैं एंड देन इट्स टेकन अवे फ्राम देर इंसिडेंट्स वेर अ गर्ल इज़ गोइंग टू बी मैरिड इन फोर डेज टाइम एंड द रेलेटिव वुड कम इन थ्रू एसिड ऑन हर जस्ट बिकॉज दैट पर्टिकुलर फैमिली हैज़ बिन रिफ्यूज उनका प्रपोजल क्योंकि मैं ना कर दिया गया इसलिए अगर तुम मेरी नहीं तो तुम किसी की भी नहीं मिस बाज एन जी ओ फंडेड सायरा सर्जरीज एंड पेड फॉर हर ट्रेनिंग एज ए ब्यूटिशन ब्यूटिशन बनना मेरा बहुत पुराना शौक था इस चीज़ की खुशी है मुझे और फख्र है कि मैं आज ब्यूटिशन a rare instance of the beauty industry coming to the rescue of those most likely to be shunned because of their looks khoobsurti ek allah taala ki nehmat hai aur jahan tak main sochti hu asal khoobsurti wo hai jo aapke andar hai aapka agar dil acha hai aapki soch achi hai to aap duniya ke sabse khoobsurat insaan hai saira may not get her own face back but she may well help save others from such misery